was at the quick car this morning waiting for my car to have an oil change and I ended up getting into a conversation with a dad that was in the room. He had brought his three, five, and seven year old little boys with him for his oil change. And these these uh, two of the, well actually all of them were on electronics. And I, I had to look at this dad and think, gosh, you know, my kids being 17 to 34 at this point, I would have totally been the parent who had my kids in front of the electronics. But as a parent who now, you know, has seen the progression of electronics through my boys who are 34, 28, 24, 19, and my daughter 17, um, and how that's impacted each one of them, and we didn't have them nearly as young as these parents now do, I just, in no judgment, please don't hear judgment in my voice. I I just wanted to, you know, say to that dad, next time bring books and just, you know, sit and read the books. I, 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 I worry about kids behind the ages of my kids and how electronic use is going to impact them because I've seen and I hear from so many parents now whose kids are older than 15, let's say, you know, in 30, you know, like wide age range and how electronic use and the prevalence of that and the impact it's had in different social aspects of their lives and the ability to focus. I think all of these things for parents behind us is, is going to be really even more impactful. And that's what I'm that's what I'm concerned about. But I really enjoyed talking to this dad today. You know, it makes you miss like having kids that are little. Um, you know, it, it tried a lot of patience when our kids are little, but you know, you, you kind of miss just that stage of their lives.